Hello everyone, this is Pomon bringing you part 4 of Fire Emblem 6 Survivor. Hector is dead. And we are going into chapter 4. Uh, Collapse of the Alliance, that's the name. A pretty difficult chapter. Um, early game in this game, I find this one of the hardest parts. And chapter 4 has to take like the second most difficult spot just after chapter 7 in my opinion because this is the first chapter where you find that the enemies have something very cool called the uh, hard move bonuses so yeah for example 7 speed 9 speed on the nomads uh, the boss having 12 speed I don't know if the boss is affected but I think the boss the bosses might be fixed but yeah so you can see the stats are quite scary. We were able to reach this chapter with Marcus. We did lose a lot of strong people, but just by virtue of having Marcus, we should be able to beat this one. The problem is the pools. Because I don't want to have to face chapter 7 without Rutger. So please, let's not pull Rutger. Let's have yes, uh, you know, a happy day here. I've been pulling good units from the very beginning. Both Allen, Dick, and Lou can be considered good units. So let's hope it doesn't happen anymore. So we are here on OBS, full screen, and we change into this. I added the two new units to the ten we had before. Clarin and Rutger are now in the mix. And as you can see, this works correctly. For example, we generate 26, 70, 67, 47. Uh, but what we want is 12. Because 12 is going to be the number. So 6, 4, 8. <laughs> OK. Um, as I, I always do, a bit of a comment. Please don't let Marcus die. Please don't let Rutger die. And honestly, please don't let Allen die either. If I could ask for something more, I would like to keep Chad until chapter 6 at least, because there's a lot of chests to open, and I would like to get those. Of course, the optimal thing is to pull Merlinus uh, or Bors. Honestly, Bors would be a win too. And yeah, Wave, I would also be willing to lose. Bolt, of course. There's choices, there's choices. There's like a 50-50 of good and bad units for me to lose. So, the unlucky one is... Lot. Lot. Well, I'm not going to lie, I have... I, I kind of had uh, high hopes for a lot. He has been doing very well, shit. Um, well, serves me right for getting attached to, to a character this soon. Died immediately. We're, we're not going to be used a lot, I guess, then. I was definitely prioritizing him over other units. I gave him more kills than I gave Walt or Wave. But uh, it's too early. It's too early to consider this a very heavy loss. And he is a... Honestly, he's a decent unit. He's a decent unit. Uh, not as strong as Dick or those, but uh, one of the best Axe users you get on the early. And I would argue even comparable to, to Gonzalez for all the time he's in and how reliable he can get to be. All right. Well, it is what it is. Um, not that bad, not that bad. Let's not lie to ourselves. It's not that bad. I will add then, I guess, Sol, Dorothy, and Sue. Sol, Dorothy, and Sue, right? Dorothy. Dorothy and Sue. I normally just delete the spaces now that I think about it. That's going to be 14 next time and uh, yeah, there's some that I can allow to die. For example, Dorothy and Walt, basically worthless. Uh, Sol, Clarine, and Ellen, at this point in time, if I have three healers, and I don't mind one of them dying, just one of them, so 
yeah okay we, we we can we can do we can do pretty well we can do pretty well not that not that concerned not that concerned with the future of of the run and it's undeniable that even though lot can do some work in chapter seven there were far harder hits to take uh, actually this is a lie i made a mistake here because next chapter is not chapter six next chapter is chapter five that I always forget about. So next chapter we have to roll again between these 11. Okay, okay. Yeah, next chapter is Fire Emblem, the chapter. Well, that's nice. So, as we said, Lot has to die. Uh, does that mean I'm going to be training war? I don't think so. I honestly think what that means is that I'm probably going to give hand access to Marcus. Javelin is good and all, but yeah. Okay. So how do we begin? Uh, nothing, nothing strange here. Okay, there's multiple people that can target there, but uh, if I put you here support okay i think i'm going to activate this support actually because it's with world yeah 498 199 500 mm. oh well you're sweating too much are you all right don't worry i'm fine was just doing some practice soon some high sword i'm still weak i'll train my, uh, myself further but uh, we're in the middle of a battle. Shouldn't you be saving your energy for an emergency, Sorella? Shh, an enemy. Let's go, world. Don't lag behind. But, uh, yes, Sorella. Okay. Uh, I, I actually think you have fire. Uh, no, you are ice. Okay. But uh, because Alan is fire, like fire affinity, that means he gives a bit of a strength. To everyone that he supports and he gives himself strength because the bonuses from supports are a combination of your bonus and the other character's bonus so alan really gets better with fire ice i think is like a dodge thing so yeah okay and here we have the double whammy coming um I think this is a good point to stand up with the javelin. I think uh, Lot can hope to maybe give his hand axe to someone in the future. Thaney also standing around. Okay, I have I have my people. I have my people, and even Roy, uh, that I have to be careful not to support carelessly. Well, let's take this with you. You don't have a thief, you won't be able to open chests and doors. And a thief can use lockpick, but they can have a key called the door key. You should thank me. All right, a door key. Uh, this can be used in the next chapter. I think that's the idea with the door key. It can be used to open the gate. Okay. First guy coming for Marcus. The six. The seven in return. May get doubled, yes. Okay, we miss one. That's uh, that's fair, to be honest. No Lou in this chapter is going to hurt more than I, than I thought initially because if I think about it, oh the damage from Alan. Alan, please, <laughs> please stay alive <laughs> because I'm depending on you a lot. Don't double here. Uh, support oh of course we could roll only three damage well i mean even if lot is going to die that doesn't mean i can't use him now so i can go for this to weaken and then we take the kill with someone else also in here i do 10 
not that good. I don't think he can attack from here. Problem to me is this nomad. Oh, support Marcus and Roy. That could be good. Roy just has supports everywhere. Okay, yeah, I know, I know this one rounds. 15 times 2. Might be better up there. M3. And I'm probably going to just vulnerary with. with Alan. Yeah. Yes, vulnerable. Meanwhile, I'm sure you can be of some use. Or not. I'll put you there, I guess. And Bors, maybe you know, lure them a little bit. Oh, I didn't move, Chad. Alright, here they come. That's the problem. They, they become aggressive and then... Why do you do 9? Instead of seven. Well, it's still a good start. Have to press on. Because at some point. Uh, no, actually, I'm, I'm confusing this with the FE7 version. We're thinking I have to get to the village, but no, Clarine will appear naturally. In fact, right now. Where is she? She's not here yet, but she will appear around here and come to me. And the enemies ignore her, so I don't really have to worry about protecting. Okay, here we have a lance. Ah, shit. It's only eight. But if we hit, yeah. Can be useful. Okay, lot. Chances are lot is going to die now. If he doesn't, then Oof. if he doesn't, then I'm I'm happy for him. But chances are he's going to die. Uh, let's see. They are going for lot directly, and they are starting with the archers doubling. <laughs> yeah, lot isn't even going to be able to. Oh no, you preferred going for boars. If he kills at least one cavalier before dying, I will consider that uh, an absolute win, to be honest. Let's see. Okay, absolute win then. Lot, you're going down with a bang. Uh, yeah, this is impossible to hit. Oh. He doesn't get doubled by a sword? Well. No more. Actually, I wonder. Did I just lose his weapons? Shut up, you won't be able to escape with all the noise. And there she is. Uh, I just want to try to check. I think... I, I actually think it gets saved. Yes, I can't access it this map. I think. Maybe. I honestly think it's going to be Roy. It's going to be Roy blocking this. You blocking here. And... You're doing nothing. I get you out of there. And I, I can kill. Or I can trust in Allen. And on them trying to kill Roy. And I can just stand here and... Don't really have a healing item. But you probably do. No, you don't. You don't either. You do. Okay. Sorry, do you reach there? Okay, but I can... I, I should be able to escape. Give you the vulnerability. Okay, that's a safe spot. Go here. Short equip. I consume this. 22. I shouldn't die. 
Uh, anything else? Nope. Just yes. hit you and hope things go well. The halberd, yeah, losing the halberd if I did lose it is a big loss, but well. And you still. I'm just capable of Lysian Burn or whatever. Pirates are here. Oh, they are going for Alan. They are all going for Alan. Okay, okay. Alan is going to get killed. And that's going to be a reset. Um, there's no problem with resetting in this run. And yeah, I definitely don't want to get Alan killed just because. So that's going to be a reset for sure. Uh, no, they they are going for worth. They are going for worth. And I think worth gets doubled by the. Oh, he doesn't even need to to get doubled. Well, he does. He does now because I got lucky. Please don't get hit by by the ball twice. As long as you don't do that, we're okay. Now I know that in an Iron Man, you know. And an Iron Man, I'm pretty confident I can reach this without. Please? No, 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 no. Have to reset. I have to reset because, um, you know, I could let Ward die. I don't think he's that important. But he's still a character that can be rolled into dying and I'd rather have these kind of characters in the back, you know, to get us safe in a way. Uh, so unless we're talking about, you know, chapter seven, I'm not going to let a character die for free. So I'm going to reset. So we should be okay more or less. Here I use the silver and, and we're good. True Roy can get attacked by both an archer and a lance. But even then he should be fine. He has 8 defense. So he would take 6 from you. Not get double because he has like 7 speed. 9 speed. He doesn't get double. And 17. That's going to hurt more. But uh, yeah, he survives. He survives. So you go there, you go there. That's all right with me. And we can heal a lot. And have him, you know, become bait once again in the future. As a level 4 Ellen, uh, got a bit more lucky there because we get magic. Pretty sure the previous level didn't include magic. I'm also going to put lot here. Because lot uh, boars, because I think he doesn't get killed by the archer. Okay, there's the ten. Could have equipped the rapier, but I didn't want to risk uh, killing them back. That would actually be against me, I think. Oh, that's a big miss. That's a big miss, to be honest. Okay. And there's the six, and I don't get double. So yeah, it wasn't a bad idea to put Roy in the front lines there. And now Clarin is approaching. Okay, I know you don't do shit for damage, uh, chat. So yes, take the door key, and your job is done. Okay, I think I'm going for this, and then rescuing out. And putting boars in there. Yep. Can't get killed, right? Okay. Have an 11% too. Mm. Didn't get that. Okay, I still got pretty lucky, but I'm, I'm so hurt that... I think... I should go for this anyway. Now a lot. Oof. Boars, come on. 
Why? Because this is a 10 strength, well, everyone is 10 strength, like, we have a problem here. But doing 11, I, I can't even dream of it. Okay, have to go for this. Alright. That was pretty good, that was pretty good. I'd love to heal, but to be able to heal, I have to make sure I'm going to kill here. You don't kill me alone. Okay. We're going for, for risky plays, I think. The only way to, to overcome this... Oh, please, please, let me keep this one. What's your speed? Eight speed. Okay, you don't get double, so you actually shouldn't get uh, one rounded. Oh, I thought you had more HP, but you only have twenty. You have less less HP than Roy. Yep, you have less HP than Roy. Well, that's a sixty percent. Okay, okay. I think Boris did everything he could here. A bit of defense would be appreciated. Strength and press. Okay. Well, that's yes. Pirates. Great. Oh, come on. Really? Really now? Also, you can reach Marlinus. Okay. Uh, I'm resetting. I'm resetting. Getting some damage on Marcus. Ah, there's so many enemies. I... Don't know how to play this game. Yeah, I'm... I don't think I'm surviving this one either. To be honest, like... Hope I do, but... I don't think I am. World, getting a horrible level. I mean, I... I'm trying for this, no. Why would I? Uh, why would I even get a, a kill? Can I rescue here? No. So the only useful thing I can do is to heal you. Hope I dodge a lot of things, especially especially with Allen. Allen can only get attacked by one. No, he can get attacked by multiple. Okay, yeah, Allen is dead. Uh, nice try. Let's see. How badly do I die? Very badly. Very badly. Like, not even a chance. I even kill now, so... You know, open a space for someone else to, to come and take Alan. I'm obviously not going to let Alan die. Pretty decent level also, so that it hurts a little bit more. And here we are. Perfect. Uh, okay. Okay. I mean, no one said this was going to be easy. Okay, I think I won't even bother showing the, the start, because it's been the same as always. I did kill the... Okay, no critical. I did kill the, the Cavalier once again with the Halberd, so that's good news. And I see there's quite a lot of enemies available here. With the Rapier... Going for this still looks like a good idea to a certain degree. If I miss, I'm I'm done. So you know, betting on a single blow maybe isn't the best idea. Maybe.
Okay. Seems like I have the, the same hit on everything, like... At this point, if I don't hit this, I'm fucked, so... Yeah, might as well try with no HP at all. Okay. Uh, you know what? This time we're doing better. Because of Eden. A critical, okay. That's a 4%. Uh, I can actually put this guy uh, strength, all right, all right, uh, won't say no to that, in here, I know, yeah, and then he's a bit further than that, and we can do this, okay, maybe I could have gone for a more normal attack, like not use the silver lance, but uh, I think this is good. As a 78 does an 83, and you need to train swords more. Pretty sure you start with D lances and E swords. As a level up for Alan, bit of a speed, a strength, speed and defense. Okay, defense is actually even more valuable. Yeah. Equip, tear on lance and consume this. And Roy, Roy is going to wait here. Do I support Roy with Alan? I will. I will support Roy with Alan. Reasoning being. First of all, Roy has fire affinity. Alan has fire affinity. It's a very good support bo for both of them to do damage. Alan, as long as he's in my army, I'm going to use him. So even if Roy can get a lot of supports during the game, I think this is one of the best. And if Alan gets killed, then I lose the support, so... Is there something wrong? Is there right? Alan. Uh, sorry, I was losing my thoughts. Seems to be thinking a lot these days, Master Roy. Maybe so. What are you worrying over? I was just thinking how to move our troops. <laughs> Same. How to move the troops? Yes. Uh, the enemy is growing stronger all the time, so good methods quickly become obsolete. I was wondering how to effectively break through their defense lines. That's easy, Master Roy. Leave it to me. I shall have their defense shattered in no time. But thanks. But I don't want to put anyone in danger either. There has to be a better way. I think some more. This run is just so appropriate for a physics. Okay, pirates. I don't know if I can recruit... Okay. You died. Lot died. That was part of the plan. And this was also part of the plan. Actually, you miss. So, get two attacks here. That's very good. Not even joking. That's very good. Uh, now, the... Yeah, the bow can go for Roy. Didn't think that through, but uh, should still be good. This bow is very dangerous because he can go over the rivers. We still don't have movement there, so even if there are pirates coming, it should be okay. Level up. Level 5, magic. Okay, if you have to get only one thing, I'd rather that is magic. And yeah. This point, yes, you know. Weaken a little bit. Alright. So now root corresponds. No. Start of next chapter. One for Merlinus, doubles and kills. Getting out of here. So what does the Cavalier do? Cavalier goes for Walt. He doesn't double, right? He doesn't. And that's a level for Walt, actually, because he was at 99, with some strength and luck, not crazy, but good enough. Okay, didn't calculate this, but... Pardon me, you over there? Me? Of course, you're the leader of this group. Yes, uh, that is most convenient. All right, then, you are to protect me. 
you die if I said that you're going to protect me from harm. Mind your mouth, young lady. <laughs> and she leaves. A healer, Clarin. Uh, that means we have two healers now. Uh, Ellen, a uh, dear rank and a half, three magic, five, eight, ten, but no nothing. Two, five, nine, so technically worse in terms of stats, but also level one. Uh, her growths don't focus so much on magic as they do on speed, and her staff rank is worse, but she has a horse. So that's, of course, a big deal. It's a fucking horse. Please, please don't don't kill someone now. We're doing good. Don't don't let the pirates ruin our day. Out of all people, the pirates. I normally deal with them with Dick. I know this time I can't do that because I literally don't have the guy. Rutger is here. This group is aggressive too, of course. Okay, yeah, he went for chat. But distracting them with chat is also a pretty valid strategy. Ruthher is able to one round almost anyone in this map, so once I recruit him, he's going to be a, a big help. The problem is he doesn't only one round enemies, he one rounds my units, like he would destroy even Marcus. So, yeah, have to be careful about that. An iron axe, an iron axe, an iron bow. But as I see your range, I think uh, I'm pretty safe. Do this with Chad because he doesn't get the counter. Does Chad die to a single blow? Uh, no. Like, I mean, 18? No way you have 18, you have 15. Closer than I thought, but uh, still not there. Okay, this is pretty safe. Like, I, I think I managed to make it pretty safe. Can't go for anyone, but um, the ones that worry me the most are, of course, Roy and Worth. So, Worth, I have to recover as much as I can. I think that would be Ellen's turn to heal then. And I think Worth gets killed anyway. Yep. Pretty sure Worth gets killed. So that's uh, beautiful. And Roy. I have to heal Roy. I could have... I, I don't know if this was a good idea. Actually, I could have killed Worth instead. Please don't go for Worth. One for Walt. You have it. Oh my god, please. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't I can't let him die. That's just one less unit to take care of the wyverns in chapter seven. And he can do that at least. That's uh, one less unit that can get rolled as a, you know, as a sacrifice in the future chapters, like in next chapter, for example. So I can't afford it. I can't afford it. So I'm going to have to reset once again. We take and we release. At two squares, I'm giving my support. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's your last square, which means this should be fine. You have a vulnerability, you do. Support Walt, now that's a little bit too much. Because if Walt never gets killed, I don't know. Uh, he That would be just a waste of, of support. Considering whenever I can afford to stop bringing him to battles, I will. Hit this. Yes, let's go! So mad that Lot is going to die after this because he's been absolutely essential. Uh, in fact, he's going to die right now. <laughs> after killing two cavaliers, he says goodbye to us with his, his head held high. 
after unlocking the use of killer access and stuff like that. No more. No more halberd. Still probably the best start I've had so far, so I can't really complain. Let's go. Okay, yeah, they appear pretty far. We can recruit Ruth for this same turn, I'm pretty sure. If I'm in the in the forest, I can also distract this guy more or less. Was able to do some damage at least. That means, uh, for example, Marcus could one round. I'm using the javelin though. That wasn't intentional. I guess a sword would be more beneficial to me. But yeah, I can talk to Rodher. And the thing is, you might be thinking, okay, so Clarin can talk to Rodher, but she's a healer. She puts herself in danger. There's a little mistake they made with the AI for this chapter. Maybe it's not a mistake, but uh, to make it easier for you to recruit Clarin, Clarin is ignored by the enemies. Her green unit status uh, means enemies don't attack her. And this status is retained even after you recruit her, so no one in this map is going to attack Clarin except for the pirates. The pirates do have normal AI, so yeah. That can be a problem, but uh, if we go left, there's no danger at all, because after all, uh, she's getting further from the pirates, so that's optimal. So yeah, I calculated more or less. I, I'm i not going to say I calculated so properly. I thought maybe I have to kill some people before getting to root her. But the situation is one such as this. You are... you're still here? Just abandon me in the middle of a battlefield. You have the nurse to say that. You, I could have been killed. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, are you not going to thank me? Uh, I don't think so. A proper gentleman would take responsibility. Rescue me, escort me to my mansion. What the fuck are you talking about, Clarion? Uh, these people are going against Burn. Is this true? Okay. And I'm going to join them. Root her. One of the best units in the game. Potentially the best unit in the game. Uh, incredible bases on speed, skill and strength. Not so tanky, but has a lot of uh, HP growth. So that helps. Comes with a killing edge. Uh, hard mode bonuses just yes, give him a lot of good things. Hard mode bonuses work the following way. Uh, they are bonuses that are directly applied on enemy bases. But they only apply on enemy bases when they are deployed at the start of the map. They don't apply on reinforcements for some reason. No, actually, that's the opposite. They apply on on characters, but only when they are reinforcements. So, um, because Ruther is a reinforcement in this map, he gets those bonuses, which can be a bit inconsistent. I'm pretty sure I've seen him with... Uh... Actually, this might be one of his highest sets of strength. I think he normally gets 8 or 9 strength, 14, 15 speed. He might be on his highest performance, which would be the, uh, the best. And yeah, he has, as I said, he one rounds almost everything. He can get killed, of course. Uh, swords and lances and all that. We are in range of them. But... I'm pretty confident doing this. With him having only 29 hit. I should be okay against the Cavaliers. And giving Rutger some kills uh, is going to make it so that he levels. Pretty good levels, as I said, especially in terms of skill and speed. Nice defense, honestly, not a bad defensive growth. And a lot of HP. So he gets kind of tanky and is one of your candidates for the first promotion item for for heroes slash mercenaries. Normally the most consistent candidate. Who's left? Chaff can do one. Thaney can do 6, actually. Level 593, level 3, okay. Yeah, has to be Thaney. Not going to give a kill to Chad out of everyone that's available, so... 
has to be Thaini. Also, this gives Roy his level 6. With skill and luck, leaks, at, at least he's like very reliable. His skill and luck are so high that yeah, I'm not getting incredible combat with Roy, but I'm getting uh, a unit that can hit almost anything. And on early game, that's quite valuable, especially because I've lost some of my most valuable sword users. So I can go for this. Mm, worth. Very positively surprised with your hand axe performance. Uh, oh, I didn't give you the, your Iron Lance back, so you can't get the kill actually. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to visit actually. You know, here is your ally. I think you give me a Steel Blade. Steel Blade, there it is. Can be very good on Ruther, for example. Do I want to give this one to Ruther? I kind of do too. Uh, giving kills to Ruther is yes, a good idea. I know the Steel Blade is slightly unreliable, but this is Ruther. Ah, 56. There we go. He takes it. Yeah, Blade, Saif, yes. Never been a big fan. And here, while using this, I'm going into the shop. All the items we have for sale. Okay, we have Fire, Heal, Vulnerary. Fire isn't that useful because Lou is dead. But I guess I could get one or two for Lilina when we get her. Heal is definitely necessary. So two fires, uh, two, three heals, and honestly, like two and three and four vulnerabilities. Okay, thank you. Thank you, good man. Uh, so now you should get out of the forest. Oh! Didn't remember those. Okay, that might be travel. Like, big travel. Because I have Marcus a bit occupied at the moment. So... How do I face these Cavaliers? I forgot about them completely. Marcus getting a level. Watch it, perfect level. Perfect level. Perfect level, Marcus. Perfect level, perfect level. I know you can, perfect level. Come on. Well, close enough. Okay. Roy, Roy is okay here. Roy is okay here. He, he doesn't want any trouble. Actually, he kind of does. Because he has the right there. Yeah, that's a lot of lances. And... They could kill Marcus. They could kill Marcus. So maybe I should just get away. I mean, they should miss some of their... 39s, and even if they hit 4, Marcus doesn't die. I'm going to compromise on slightly getting away while, you know. Yeah, and here. Here is where I could put someone to try and one round, for example. I don't have that someone, so I can just prepare for the worst. Okay, Iron Axe. You're dead. As long as you're holding a sword, and especially if you're on a forest, hand axes are normally a, a no matter. Okay, immediately get hit by a 39, get a critical in return. That's, that's decent. Okay, next, another lance. 
that also hits. But as I said, even if all the lances hit, I'm okay as long as no axe hits me. Please dodge. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay, I think the time for luring with Merlinus is obviously here. Between other things. I took care of the Cavaliers, which are the biggest threat. Uh, can go in here, equip an Iron Sword. And Merlinus can be the one to be here. I want to... You know, there's hand axes, I know that. And they can go for Walt, so I should rescue Walt. I also have to play you an iron sword and run away. Roy being one of my tanks in here is a bit... Uh. Uh, didn't I have like a one-use iron sword around? Apparently not. I wait. Let's see. Actually, this block might be very bad. Yeah, because now they can come through it. So here before I lose my important goods. One for Roy. That's a 17%. Should be dodging all of this. Is the iron access that are a problem, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I can say with a certain... By the way, the silent, no music. That's because Merlinus died. And Merlinus has a bug related to him. If he wasn't enough uh, meme by himself. Continuously risking these things with worth is just yes, the way you play worth. And he's getting them. He's getting them. I, I really don't want to use you two less plays in a row worth like please oh oh worth don't do this to me please don't be good please don't be good okay the villagers have been cleared all the enemies have been killed which i think is good because i need the you know i need the training i need to train just people all around now what would hurt me the most is alan dying Alan Dayen, I think, would be a terrible blow, because he's becoming one of my best units that isn't always there. He's not like Ruther, who I always consider to be good, and if he dies, I will just think, okay, interesting run, because I don't use Ruther. But yeah. You see the critical, right? I, I see it too. I just wanted you to know. I can see it too. But... We have to risk it. It's a 2%. Shouldn't happen. Okay. He switched into a javelin, but he gets killed anyway. Let's go. I... I... Root her is yes. No future for those who train oppose absolute power. Well, we'll have to see. Level 6. The skill and speed. Yes, you know. Prepared to double absolutely everything from here on. Yeah, yes, ready to rumble. Ready to rumble. This guy. This guy knows. He knows. He knows. 27 health. Like already more health than Alan. So small heal, and we go. If I have Merlinus, I would consider rearranging inventories, but as the situation stands, I will do that at the end of the next map, if Merlinus is alive. So yeah. Everything's taken, right? Didn't forget any village? Nope. I killed every enemy. Level 6, 6, 
three promoted, eight. I don't care, I don't care. Uh, five, okay. Five, decent. 465. Strangely low for all the preference I've been giving you. Okay, that's not bad. And Lot is dead. I did manage to, to kill Lot. So, let's conquer. Lot, you did us a, a great a great service in this map. Is is yeah it just makes it that much you, you know that much painful that you are you are done now. So yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye lot. Oh this was this was good. This was good. Uh I, I know I may you know suffer a lot at times. But honestly I enjoy when the maps have a certain difficulty to them. So yeah, I'm just I'm just really happy the the game is proving to be a challenge and I'm really happy that I'm getting weird things happening. I probably lost some of my best combat units. Uh let's hope next chapter I don't lose Rutger or something stupid. Can I please lose someone that's clearly F tier like Worth, like Bors, like Walt. Can I please lose one of them? Instead of, you know, let me not pull Ruther or Thaney or Allen or Marcus. Please, please. The only thing that's a big consolation for me in these situations is that the more good people die, uh, the more the, the less likely is that another one will die in the future, you know, because at some point I'm going to run out of them. So uh, yeah, next chapter I don't get any new units. So the units we currently have in the team, one of them is going to be lost unless unless uh, the choice is Merlinus. And the next map is Doris Story, the map with Doris. So if the one chosen to die is Fruither, I'm going to have a lot of travel because I normally can only beat that map with Rutger. So yeah, if you like this chapter, this part, then consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. Uh, it took some effort, but we're finally there. Uh, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.